Now when I test it, ah, I only see one and it shows the proper category name. Now, it knows that something's funny, <laughs> all right? I changed what data I'm pulling in the SQL data source. All right? So it knows that that details view is using the old, it was configured using the old SQL data source. So it's asking me if I want to redo that details view. And usually you do. If I answer yes though, it's going to get rid of everything in, that was in my details view and I'm going to have to go back and, and redo some of the things. Like for example, delete some of the columns like I did. That's no big deal. If however, you know, if you um, have done substantial work on it then, then you might want to answer no and then there's other ways that you can deal with it. For now, I'm going to say yep. And there it shows everything from both tables. And I can go in and I can edit the fields. I can get rid of the ones I really don't need to see. And I can rearrange it. And I can change the header for that. Is that in edit fields in that little box right there? Yeah, edit okay. fields. And now when I run this, lo and behold, It shows the categories technology. The question is Android, iOS, or other. Questions over any of this? One suggestion I would make for practice would be to take Tuesday's lecture as a starting point and see if you can recreate this. I will upload this, but see if you can recreate what I did. All right. Our next step then, we have to add, our next step I want to show the possible results. All right. And then eventually I want to, or the possible answers, then I want to show the actual results with the vote. For those, we have to create new tables because we only have the two tables in there now. All right, and we'll save that for next week. Um, we might do that actually together in lab, all right, on Tuesday. I'll have to see what time the lab's available. Maybe we'll have a brief lecture and then the lab, but we'll figure that out. Questions? All right, that's all I had for today.